We're a little late to the party tonight. We're a little late, but it's okay. You know, like better late than never, right? That's right. I, we, I didn't want to miss a day, Chris. I well, you didn't. Well, I just came from the farm. We had the eclipse there. Did you witness the eclipse out here? Did you get? You know, I did, but it wasn't great because it was like we're in Syracuse and it's like cloud. clouds everywhere. It got really dark out, but yeah, um, that was pretty cool. Getting as dark cool. as it did. But yeah, it was uh, it was not the perfect day because clouds everywhere. And tomorrow it'll probably be beautiful, right? Yeah, seventy two degrees. Yep, yeah, no 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 clouds in the sky except for maybe some chemtrails. Okay, here we go. We're here. Oh hi guys, we're live. Sorry we're so late. We're late. <laughs> um well it's quarter after nine. We're only gonna go for a little bit. John's tired and we just wanted to keep consistency here, so we're doing a little bit of a live stream. That's right. Um, we don't. We're, we're not going to be like really uh, cooking too much in the kitchen. But if you th th saw the thumbnail, we're going to do some uh, Tyndall chicken. So Tyndall sent me some chicken. I met them at Expo last year, and you worked at Stronghearts, and they they used the stuff there. Yeah. Yep. 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 They actually were like, um, "Oh, can you tell?" Because they knew I was from Sarah. Can you tell Stronghearts to carry our chicken? I'm like, "I'll text them right now." I'm like, Joel, uh, I'm here with Tyndall. They want to know if you want to carry their chicken. He's like, "Um, hello. We already do." I'm like, "Oh, he already does." And she's like, "Um, what?" <laughs> so yeah, good old Tyndall. Now we get to try. They get, they have a couple products that they sent you. Now, don't get this mixed up with Tinder. This is Tyndall. That's the dating app. This right. is the vegan chicken. So, we looks like we got some we got some tenders, we got some wings, we got some nugs, and we got some popcorn chicken. I'm gonna I'll bring them over there for the folks at home to check out. Are, are we? We're good, right? Can you guys hear me? Okay. No sound issues, John. No, nope, nobody's saying anything. Okay. I mean, they're saying stuff, just nothing about sound. Right. Okay, then I guess we're good. Okay, let's grab the other two. Oop. Boom. Got some popcorn chicken. Got some chicken nugs. Uh, it's too hard to see any of this. I don't know if you guys want to like pause that and look at some of the things that are in it. Air fry. Finally, air fry recommendations on here. You know what I'm saying? Eight to ten minutes until golden brown and delicious. They also sent some no evil, no chicken. Same company? I don't, I mean, I didn't think they're the same company. I know all the folks over at no evil. Actually, one of them's from Camillus and went to school with Caleb. Oh, really? Mm hmm They know Caleb. They know evil food. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, we're not going to make this. We're going to make... Okay, so out of all these, what do you want to make? The popcorn chicken? Kind of. It's like the little nuggety and... Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Popcorn chicken. When it says audio and video is good. That's what I like to hear. All right, so all we got to do is uh, preheat to 400. Cook for nine to twelve minutes until golden brown. Well, that well, we don't have to preheat an air fryer. I know. Why does it say preheat? <laughs> you guys don't know what you're talking about, Tindall. <laughs> you can't preheat a stinking air fryer, <laughs> idiots. Preheat the air. Just kidding. Um, I have like as far as stuff we can dip it in. I have I got some barbecue sauce. I got ketchup. Um, we could make a sauce. We could make a honey mustard. Actually, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any maple syrup. Oh, okay, all right. So, so that's how much you get popcorn chicken. That looks like about what one or two servings. Yeah, I'd say two. But yeah, we, you want to just do half a bag? You want to do the whole thing? If we're just trying it, I mean, yeah, I'm not super hungry. Okay, good, perfect. We'll do half a half bag. a bag. Half a bag because we're not super hungry. Which is weird coming from me. That's okay. Hey, John, you're gonna like this, but I found an entire. Other case of your your coconut brewskis, a whole so John can still. We come. thought I was out. We thought he, we thought he couldn't come over here anymore, but he can. Oh, and just to, to I'm not trying to copy your style from last week wearing this uh, button up shirt. I can't get 
I can't get a pullover or a t-shirt or anything I have to pull over on without extreme pain in my oh, arm. Oh, that's But I'm going to the specialist on Wednesday uh, to take a look at that, so. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it sucks. I didn't think you were copying me. I didn't even, actually, I forgot. You forgot? I totally forgot. Well, I was wearing one of these all week, just a, a zip up with, you know. you can't. Because when it's time for bed, when I'm trying to take that off, I can take the zip off. But the other one, I, I can take it off, but it's so much pain that I've been, like, I had one of my like lightweight uh, hoodies I was wearing. I'm just like, you know, screw it. I'm just gonna go to sleep wearing it. I didn't even yeah, take it dude, off. That sucks. Yeah, man, it sucks. Oh, heavy metal starting the party off. Oh yeah, what's diddle, up, diddle, Matt? Diddle, diddle, heavy metal diddle. vegan. Let's do. It. Let's give him a like. Thank you for that super chat. <sighs> uh, Chris is copying John. I mean, to be. To be fair, I, I I wore this all last year and the year before, so... And you could say that I'm copying you because I'm vegan. You were vegan you first. You copied me, man. Dude, I want a written animals affidavit. are happy that I copied no. you, though. Oh, did I start this? Is it working? Uh, we're going. It's so quiet. It's quiet. She's a quiet one. She's humming softly. We got a couple mm -hmm. dogs over here. Um, anything new since the last days that we... It was like a week ago. It was like a whole week ago from today. Yeah. It feels like it was a lot longer, though. It was a long week. Long week. Cold. Rainy. It's getting nice out, though. I didn't even need a jacket today. Tomorrow's going to be nice. We both look great in our clothing, too. Oh, thank Holly, you. Thank, thank you. you. We needed that. Thank you. I even washed my hair today. You know? I hadn't washed it since last week. What? <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm kind of parched. I'm gonna get a, you know, I. Uh, you gonna drink spring water? Well, I could drink some of my Crohn. Oh shit. Sparkling. But what I think I want is I've been I've been getting some of this at uh, Wagman's, some uh, apple cider. Oh. So I'm just gonna drink a little bit of that. Just wow, to, Chris, you're a changed man. Just a, just a little bit of apple cider. It's good for the gizzards. Yeah. <laughs> Very good for the giz. What else is new? The eclipse today was pretty new. Was that our first actual well, total eclipse? Well, look at it. You know, I have a, I have the these um these glasses that I used today, and these were from August twenty first, two thousand seventeen. So we had remember that eclipse that we had. It's like you know. I well, do remember it. It's like once in a lifetime, every six years. You know. Yeah, <laughs> that was a partial one though. Well, yeah, this was like the full. The, everything got really dark and it was kind of eerie. It was, it was like, whoa, and it got a little bit cold too, I noticed. Yeah. Because it was warm and that was like cold. The geese were screaming. Listen to this video. I'm going to put it on Patreon, but. The geese started screaming? Yeah, listen. I got a lot of videos too. The doggies, they didn't know. Really so, look at. Oh, wow. You hear them all? They're like, what the? And it, and it, what is going on? It looks like there's a sunset. It's so dark. I know, and that's at three in the afternoon, dude. By the way, where, wait, where you were two hours away? So Syracuse was full totality, hundred percent, hundred percent eclipse. I think that's the first one that I know of. I wait, no, there was one. There was one when I was a baby, but I don't, I don't remember that one because I don't even know what I was doing. You're but just a little baby. Full totality. You know what? Where are you going? I think he might have went potty. Oh, okay. Because it doesn't smell like chicken nuggets in here. <laughs> uh, is he okay? I feel like he did go, but he cleaned it up. Dude, you smell, man. What, what did you do? Unless it was me. In California, it was bright AF. Oh but you God. did not die. Still here, no zombies to report. Whew, it smells. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> okay. So it was cool. It was cool at the farm because we had an event. There were a lot of people. They bought tickets and they got to experience the uh, the eclipse with some of the farm animals and they had like self-guided tours. I, I was selling merch. Sold a lot of merch today. But okay, it's good, good to be home. That's why I'm so late, you guys. And now I'm tired. 
I told you last week that I, I finished the yes. rough out of the movie and I've been going through it and I've been like tightening it up, making it look real good. So you're going through like the right. second edit now. Right. I could show you the end afterwards. I don't know if you want to stay. But kind you, of. You've seen most of it, yeah. so we don't have to go back through there. But yeah, yeah. I could of. show you the end. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to watch it because I blew out of here quick last year. Does anybody else want to watch it? Last week. Uh, it was cloudy where I was, Trini, but it still got wicked dark. So it was, it was cool. We, we couldn't see it actually. Well, uh, yeah, obviously it's going to get dark, but the, the thing is, is like we would see glimpses through the clouds. As the clouds went by, you would see like a little sliver here it and It was there. less sunny there than it was here. Because my, my dad, somebody sent a picture of my dad sitting there. You could see his shadow. Gandalf has fallen into shadow. How's your dad doing? He's, um, he's doing pretty good. Okay. Yeah, he is. Trini paid no attention to the eclipse? Wow. How did you not? What are you talking about? What what eclipse? What is an eclipse? There's a song about it. The total eclipse of the heart. Um, what are, what is the next thing we're gonna make on the show? We got we can't let oh, these man. burn. Cause this gets pretty off. Oh, it's said to do it for nine minutes. Okay, I'm just going to, like, turn them over. Yeah. We don't want any burnt ones. No. They're looking good. Uh, looking yeah, good. next week. Let's talk Let's talk food next week. Yeah, what are we going to make? We don't really... I mean, we... I guess we could... Well, we've made it a, a habit to make food while we're in the kitchen, you know? I love cook. I love We might eat. as well. Yeah. We got to eat anyway. It's like yeah. dinner, you know? So... I was going to say, we don't have to make food in one of our live streams, but, you know, might as well take advantage of that dinner time and make some food. Make some dang old food. Make some food. Maybe we should make some, like, I don't know, ramen or something? I don't know. Oh, that sounds fun. Something we haven't done before. Yeah. I mean, we've tried, but we did burgers. We've done a couple of pizzas. We did a few pizzas. We did. We delivered some food to Craig's house. We uh, we made mashed taters. We ate a mushroom. We did eat a mushroom. That's Vanilla crazy. mashed potato. Vanilla. We, uh, Raymond sounds fun. Some sort of bowl. Some sort of noodly bowl. Noodles. Um, we we could make uh, the, the, the pad thai. We could make some of our uh, recipes stuff. from... Yeah, yeah cookbook. We could do that. We could do that. Cookbook Breakfast stuff. Breakfast ramen. Mmm. Mm. Interesting. Vegan wonton soup. That sounds good. You know, we did that before, Travis. We we, we would buy um, different ingredients, and then we would try to make something from it. I think we did that when Issa was doing something with that. We did. We and did. We made it. Yeah, and then and then we uh, we met her and we became friends with her. Oh, the no killy Philly. That would be fun. We we could do that. We could redo the, the no satan, kill Philly. The, you could make another satan while you're at it. Yep. But I feel like it's not really much different than what we already, you know, like we, we just made a cheese sauce and we made the seitan. <laughs> we, we, we've already made so it. So the, the only thing we would do differently is we would like saute up it, some onions and It would be on a hoagie roll. Yeah, hoagie. Hoagie. We could make bibimbap. Bibimbap, yeah. bami. Yes, yeah, so let's make bibimbap because I haven't had it since the last time you made it and it was so good. It's so good. You were living in, lip, in the other, at the old house. Yeah. Stromboli, hell yeah. I made that at Issa's restaurant when we were doing our little um, pizza thing. You made a, a nice stromboli? Mm hmm What kind of sauce? Barb? Barber? Yeah, I'll yeah, have some barb. Barbecue. I'm a Barbie sauce. We can make a stroganoff. I used to hate stroganoff when I was a kid because my mom would make beef strogan. I love stroganoff. <laughs> the mushrooms. Oh, my, yep, yep. Um, so I just bought it. It's, uh, where is it? The barb? It's right here. Oh, we have hot sauce, too. Hot sauce. The I wings, the barbie. buffalo sauce. The Backyard bu barbecue, Chris? Backyard barbecue. It was two, they're organic. Two for five. It smells it. Oh, it smells like the burn. It smells like bar backyard barbecue right there. I feel like these are done, even though I don't think it's been nine minutes. We gotta let them rest for two. Okay. Um, Go to sleep. One for 30. 30. Yeah, let's put it in a smoothie. Okay, I got some over. sort of sauce all over me. Son we of could me. eat them like this and dip them, or we can shake them around in some sauce. Oh, shit. Shoot. I said shoot, Mom. Ding. 
You guys gotta smell these things. They they smell really good. They look like little uh, tater tots. Look at it, it's the sun, and the moon is in front of it. I just oh made the God. eclipse with a barbecue you sauce. You just line. did. You totally eclipsed it. Oh, you know what I think? Uh, something that I had in there uh, spilled. Exploded. It spilled, and it was like this uh, the hot um, lava of the sun. Yeah, it was like this hot Asian sauce, oil sauce, and it's everywhere. Yeah, I cleaned it all up with good old ShamWow. Oh, good, good. You know, and then uh, okay, well, let's try it out. Do 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 do. -do. Oh man, vegan Swedish meatballs. I did used to like Swedish meatballs when I was a kid. The Swedish. Just the Swedish chef. Okay, we got two containers and we can... Are we putting the same sauce in both and one's for my germs and one's for yours? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know if you want hot sauce too, but... No, I, think... I don't. I want the barb. Okay, okay. I just want barb. Sometimes I like to dip them in both. Oh, like get a little bit like to do it and boom. then a little bit of this yeah but not too much because it's, it's it's hot but it's not too hot what kind is it it's the bubble oh yeah the wing the, the wing, wing sauce one wing to rule them let all. me show you so i i i really like this stuff i found it at wegman's it's like wing sauce vegan wing sauce anyway Zeke, why don't you go sit down because John you, smells like every that? flavor of poop that the farm has. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, hey, well, let's make this official and like, let's make this Facebook official. Yeah, we'll we'll take. Uh, how about like a we'll eat them with these little toothpicks. All right. One for you, one for me. Now I feel like we're giving taste tests at the expo. We are Flintstone kids. Do we need our vitamins? These are, there's vi uh, there's one vitamin in every one of these bites. Yep. It's called vitamin V. Vegan. Are you ready? Oh, you tried it already. Oh, and then I'm done. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. MJ says, how quickly can 60 people like this video? Do it! Let's see it go up. Let's see the counter go up. Oh, that sounds fun. We should do a cook along where we give the recipe and ingredients and you can make it with, with us. Right, that's a good one. We would have to let you know many moons in advance so you can go to the store. Right, right. I'm going to try it without Barbara so I can really talk about the flavor. I'm going to try it with the, um, the hot sauce. The breading's got a good flavor to it. Very peppery. Texture's good. I got no complaints, Chris. I don't either. I'm going to try it without anything on it. Let's see what it looks like. Let me get a focus. I don't know if it's focusing on here. But anyway, that's it. It's good. Total eclipse at the fall. We have a recipe that I, I don't think you were. I did it where I got tofu popcorn chicken. came out really good. It did guys, come out good. The video, it looks so good in that video. You yeah. made tofu a few different ways in that video. I appreciate Oh, yeah. It. Yeah, to, or, tofu no. three different ways. Yeah. Okay. I, was, I wasn't sure if you had different sauces or what. It was a, that was a video from like a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Some of our videos, I'm like, oh, that one was like six years ago. I go look at it, I'm like, oh my God, it was like 10 years ago. I know, I know. We're like eating these right up. Good, they're good, I like them. I would eat again. I what about sweet and sour sauce? Bro? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wish I had something to make like um, a honey mustard or a sweet and sour. I don't really tonight though. Tonight's just a quick little, hey, we're live. Uh -huh. We're live, we went live, it counts. It counts. I, I was thinking about giving up too, Chris. I was like, do I just tell him I can't tonight? I'm so tired. I'm like, no. We'll let you get out of here pretty early. Okay, but we gotta, we gotta make sure I can watch the end of the movie though. Okay. Like, 
Oh, I was just going to say, do you remember what part you were at without giving anything away to them? I, I'll tell you the part I most remember is when you were talking to the guy who was telling well, you. Don't, I mean, we can't give anything away, so. Telling you the thing about the thing. The thing. Telling me the thing about the thing. I'll tell you afterwards. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that because it's too hard to do that. I feel like we give stuff away unintentionally. Oh my god. What are you drinking, beer? He's drinking coconut water, and I can't stand coconut water, but I got like a case of it. And um, he drinks it every time he comes here. Organic coconut water. Does anybody out here not like coconut water like myself? Or is everybody like, every, I'm the weird one, that, I'm the only one that doesn't like it. No, so many of my friends don't like coconut water. Matt, the vegan, says I used to like the spicy buffalo wings by Morningstar, but they changed the recipe and they've not, they're not as good anymore. I hate when they change recipes on things that are otherwise good and one of my favorites. And, um, you know. Kitra's in the house. What's up, Kitra? Coconut tastes a little besides bodily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a lot of coconut haters up in here. See, I'm not the I'm not the only one. Coconut water. <laughs> Holly likes it straight from the, the coconut teat. I did that when we went on the cruise, remember? I smashed it open and I was like, ugh. And you hate it? Did you hate it? I hated it then. <laughs> yeah. But I was pretending I'm like I'm 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 like castaway yeah, on yeah. you know on an island. <gasps> it's like, ugh. Now let's go and you know, to the to the No, let's go eat a mushroom. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I need another uh, refill. Oh, wow. You sure? I do. Bro, be careful. Okay. What does that? See that vegan honey? Is it? I thought it wasn't vegan at first because it looked like real I honey. know. I know. I was like, wait a minute. We can make a honey mustard right now. Whoa, Kitra. Thank you. Super chat times 20. Appreciate that. This is their Kitra's. 20th super chat on a live stream the other 19 oh wow we're all for me your 20th super chat 20 wow that's crazy but yeah this was sent to me and when i first looked at it, i'm like that can't be vegan and i looked at it it's vegan honey yeah it says be free i had to literally stare i'm like chris why do you have honey yeah he's like what the heck are you doing i'm like what are you looking at man <laughs> and his like face is just looking over i'm there. like i know like how dare you i would never eat honey i don't want to uh I didn't want to bring it on the screen and be like, dude, what, Chris, what are you what doing? What are you doing, doing man? Eating, son of a biscuit. <laughs> I like to dip my bananas in it. Mm. Be free um, honey. Be free, free honey? Yeah, yeah, they have it. Well, I got a few different honeys. Are out, they still out in existence? No, be free honey went out. That's but, what I thought. I mean, that says be free honey, but it's not the same brand. We got two, two forms of honey here. What do you use those for? Well, apparently nothing because they're not full. <laughs> I was just going to say, I don't, what are you talking about? Um, yeah, when I was a kid, we would have stew and we would have homemade biscuits and I would put the honey on the biscuits. And it was it was good when I was a kid. but I tried honey once because I think my friend had some. I always wanted it because I always saw Winnie the Pooh having it. My mom never bought it. And if and Winnie likes it so much, it's got to be good. And it was in the, 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 the teddy bear bottle, so I like really wanted to try this. I went to my friends. I'm like, oh, can I have some? He's like, yeah, go ahead. So I tried some. I'm like, oh, this is going to be so good. I'm like, Winnie the Pooh. And I'm like, oh, I don't really like this. <laughs> I didn't really like it, so. Uh, yeah. Honey butter biscuits. See, I guess I was missing out. Why is everyone here so amazing? I... I ask myself that every every night. It's wild. I've been watching you guys since high school, and I'll be 33 this year. <laughs> and in no way is that depressing. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Like, I thought that was a joke, but that's possible. It's very possible. You know? Oh, wait, wait a minute. What's today? Today is the 8th. We're not going to be live on... 
All right. So on the 12th, that's the anniversary of, of the Vegan Zombie. All, April 12th, we, I started uh, the Vegan Zombie. I wrote the, uh, the script for the movie, and I bought the domain name for TheVeganZombie.com, and um, roughly a month later, I started the YouTube channel. So it's four days. It's our 15-year uh, anniversary. So that's totally true. If you were watching when you were a teenager, you know, you would have been like, what, 18? If you were watching for all 15 years? I think I'm just going to go live until I die. I, you know, we're all going to be old. We should, make a, we should make a shirt. Live until I die. Live, live somebody, until I die. Some people will think it says live until you die. You I know, know, I know. And you got to be like, no, that's the English I'm going to go live until I die with a little microphone next to it or something. Like a YouTube podcast. logo. Yeah. Live until I die. But you could say I'm going to live until I'm, I die too. And it make, they both make sense. That's true. <sighs> Maybe I'll go live. I don't know. But uh, yeah, 15 year anniversary. You were a junior or senior for sure. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, we have a few people in here that have been watching The Vegan Zombie for like since we started it. Since I, I was a young, not gray haired, beard guy with lots of dreams. Does anybody remember our first episode ever? I do. Yep. I remember I hated it. I loved it, man. You like took the, uh, the baguette and you're like, Shh. And I put special effects in it so that you were like the baguette gun. <laughs> we made stuffed shells. We gave you like three for one. You know, we did stuffed shells and we did like the elephant garlic and the, the bruschetta. And you're like, are you going to slice it on the bias? I thought I thought it was so cool. I'm like, I'm in my own cooking show. And then I watched it. I was like, I'm awkward. And then, and then you were like, Chris, um... There's a lot of people seeing our videos out there because at that time it was like we had a, we had a few million views, and you were like, I can't sleep at night knowing that people think I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I'm an idiot on on the channel, and then I go to sleep, and then it's like I wake up and we got videos with like two hundred thousand views and stuff, and it's like yeah. wow. You know what was oh. funny is uh, rest in peace. Not funny, but the the thing is when we would go to the West Coast. So many effing people would go, come up to me and be like, "Oh my god, I love you in the Vegan Zombie Show. You're so much shorter in real life." Yeah. <laughs> so many people said that, and now I feel like <laughs> little all the time. Like I have this little man syndrome. Well, that's why, you know, that's why you. That's why because I'm I'm taller than you, and, and Craig's taller, than and me. Craig's taller. You're like, well, I feel like he's our dad, but yeah. he's like the youngest one. Um, it's fine. Yeah. It's just a lot of awesomeness packed into this little package, Chris. It's like you were saying, like, well, when I'm next to you, like, you're like a foot tall. Well, not a foot taller, but tall I, enough. I, I mean, these lights. I try not to hit these lights with the camera. The thing is, when I would hang out with your brother, who's about the same height as you, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'd hang out with Brian. I hang out with Dan Kerrigan. Dan's taller than Brian. Both right? of them are tall, and I'm like, am I a little guy? I'm a little guy. <laughs> you're a little guy. I've been little this whole time. <laughs> no one told me I'm a little guy. <laughs> So now I, everybody in California told me I'm a little guy, and, and I'll never forget it. Do you know? Yeah. You're a lot littler than I thought, you know? <laughs> um, uh, how, how tall are you? I'm 5'9 on a good day. On a good day? Five yeah, nine. yeah, yeah. If I didn't have such a crooked spine, I'd probably be like 6'1". Yeah. It's definitely not that true. Probably be like 5'10 and a half. Five, ten and a half. I'd probably be like right about. I'd probably be sitting right about here. John, the pocket size vegan. <laughs> <sighs> Fun size. It's like Zeke and Indy. Back in the day. At least you're not five four. That's. I mean, yeah. Fun size, John. Bite size, John. <sighs> five, five nine, nine is a respectable height, you yeah, know. Five nine. Right? Yeah. Five nine. I don't ever feel like I'm too tall. Sometimes I, when I was little, I felt like I was too short. I would like, I would look at myself and be like, oh, why am I so ugly? And I'd be like, I'm just thankful I have friends. I don't know why they're friends with me, but like, I, I'm glad I got friends. <laughs> you were, you were cool back then. <laughs> no, that was when I was like 12, oh, yeah, Okay, younger. Yeah. So when I was that age, I was like, when am I going to get hair in my other places on my body besides my head? 
And so I would look in the mirror and try to see if I had any hair growing on my armpit. Because I was like, Brian has it. Why can't I? You remember like when you'd be in high school and there was that one dude that had a full mustache and beard? Like there's always one dude, you yeah, know, like, yeah. you know, like, he smells I'm like, a little. I'm like, I can't even shave. Like I don't have anything here. Yeah. And now it's like, and when I used to grow a beard back then, like when I was like 18, 19, like it didn't grow in all the way. And now it's like, I got this big, huge beard. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Yeah. I was going from what, what trying to find hair <laughs> to now I can't stop. It's just growing everywhere. Even places I don't want it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm either six foot or I don't know if I shrunk after having like my back surgery or anything. So I'm around six foot, maybe like a millimeter or shorter. Being tall isn't great. I hit my head on so many things. <laughs> I just think if I broke the six foot mark, have some people be like, how tall are you? I'd be like, oh, I'm six. Six oh. No big deal. Six oh. Six oh. Now we're we're talking about we're talking about height here. Height. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. height. Height. I'm probably uh my brothers are the same height as me. My dad's about as tall as my dad's shorter. And so is my mom. So how do we get tall? And my cousins, they're short too. My cousin he was like, How'd you guys get so tall? How did you guys get so I don't tall? know. It doesn't make any sense. Mom. To the milkman tall? <laughs> <laughs> Craig says that John is at least 6'5". Don't let him fool you. <laughs> oh, hey, Craig. We were just talking about your tallness. Yeah, actually, I, I, uh, I kneel down. Craig. Craig's in the chat. Craig, Craig. Oh. Um. What else, man? Oh, jeez. Let's the other topics. Um. Yeah, you guys got anything for us? Another vegan celeb. We're not vegan celebs. We're just couple of dudes here hanging out they have a youtube channel yeah that's it that's it that's seen by people all over the world i mean what's so big deal we have a cookbook i mean <laughs> well that's not really it. i mean it's cool i tell people we have a cookbook. when's the last time we've had a cookbook in stock Probably yeah like that's true 20 we had a cookbook ago. so successful it flew off the shelves and we can't get it restocked because that's how successful it is <sighs> Wild rice burgers. Um, have I ever had a wild rice burger? I don't think I have. But then again, I could be wrong because I've had so many things since the days of going vegan. I don't think I have. I that doesn't sound familiar. Yes, OG YouTube vegans before a blonde girl's in. You're my celebrities. Oh, okay, uh, fine. Fine. We'll be your celebrities. Um, no spoilers, but tell us the whole movie. So I've changed a bunch of things around in the movie, so i got to like put it back out there. So I've had a couple people watch it. So Mike saw it. Mike said it was, it was he really, he's like... Mike? Mike. From Chittenango? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause was he, he in town? No, 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 I sent him a copy. Yeah. You can't just send copies, dude. You can't just Somebody send a copy. Somebody will steal it. You can't simply send a copy. Oh, look, I have the bootleg version that <laughs> some guy named Big D25 put out. Yeah. Well, Mike is like the first person I ever sent a copy of my script to. All right. Back a long time ago. So, Mike, uh, we grew up together, you know? Yeah. And, um, and you never electrocuted him that once. No, I didn't electrocute like Mike. And Mike... But I did steal a G.I. Joe Hot Wheel one time. Does um, he know? Yeah, right. he knows because I took it right out from under him. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um, but anyway, other than that, we've been friends, you know, all our lives. And good old Mikey. Um, so, yeah, he helped me sync some of the audio on some of the things because he does that for a living. He's worked on big sets with big actors and stuff like that. Um, but now he's got a job working, like, um, the media at, at, like, a college. And um, so I sent it to him, and he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed because he saw some of the stuff. And... You know, so, and, um, 
so the people that have that know no film both saw it and said, um, you know, obviously you got the the problem that you gotta you gotta work on the sound and everything, which I already know. But you know, overall, it's looking good. So I, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Good. That's good. pretty cool. Good. Uh, oh yeah, Hillary's. If Hillary's had one, I definitely had it. I had all Hillary's products. Oh man. See you later, yeah. DGM. They had DJM. like quinoa burgers back in the day that yeah. we tried. I don't know if maybe. What do you guys want to be when you grow up? Um Hey Sarah. Oh hi. Um What do you guys want to be? What do I want to be when I grow up? Um Sorry, that was my phone. What do I want to be when I grow up? Well, the first thing I wanted to be when I was little, I, I it just they say you can be anything you want. I wanted to be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Anyway, um, what do I want to be when I grow up? I wanted to be a vegan zombie, I guess. I wanted to be, no a film director. There, boom! I did it. I did it. But I'm I'm grown up, and I don't know. You're you're grow doing up. it. I'm doing it. Well, I did it. Retired. <laughs> Retired. Retired. <laughs> If you guys were to make it, we already have plans to make a new cookbook. We just haven't done it yet. And then the movie got in the way. Well, I shouldn't say got in the way, but the movie became a, a project of mine back in 2018, and I'm still working on it. So when that's done, I've got two more ideas for a cookbook because I wanted to do a cook an A44 cookbook, but I also wanted to do. So this isn't a secret. So um, Cook and Survive is uh, the name of our first cookbook. Let me just grab it right here. <clears throat> so, Cook and Survive is our is our first cookbook. It's our only cookbook, actually. Um, and it's pretty cool because unlike most cookbooks, it's got like a comic book in the front, of, like the Vegan Zombie comic. A little short story. And then it gets into our... I just opened it up to our first video ever, the bruschetta. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at it! Um, so and then it's got all of our recipes, including at the very end, there is also, where is it? Okay, hold on, I'm, I'm not at the very end. There it is. There it is. Good old Indy. And this is from 11 years ago. So there's dog treats with my little pup. Anyway, um, the next book that I wanted to do would be the Vegan Zombie Cook. This is Cook and Survive. The next one would be Cook and Thrive. Some healthier, healthier. Uh, thank you, Matt, Heavy Metal Vegan, for second super chat. Thank you, man. Nineteen ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? Are you when you wait? What did he say? Anybody see any good movies lately? I like to think Craig is outside the window waiting to scare them. He did that once, I think. Yeah, yeah he did. The problem is, is he probably got scared out there waiting <laughs> from where I live. I'm not saying he did, but... Craig, you gotta come over and watch the movie with me sometime, too. I'm just trying to get a little bit more done. I've been working on it a little bit after the, the rough edit, making it look real good. That's cool. That's exciting. Uh, the Ghostbusters movie. How was it? The new Ghostbusters movie. What did I even watch lately? I don't have Hulu anymore. Cookbook. So yeah, I was thinking about doing the Cook and Thrive and then also an A44 cookbook where we like cook up things from the movie. Fun. Somebody yeah. asked if there's any food in the movie. There's food in the movie, yeah. I can say that. There's food in the movie. And John catered the movie for us. So there's a scene where John had to make all the food that's in the movie. And it was really good. We got to all try a little bit of the food. That was pretty cool. 
when does the movie come out? When does the movie come out? Good question. Good question. Because I'm working on it right now, and I would love for it to be able to come out sometime in the late summer, early fall, because it is a horror movie, and I do want it to be like... For me, like when fall hits here in upstate New York and the chimneys are going and the leaves, you smell that smell and everybody's thinking about Halloween, that's when I want to start watching like horror movies and stuff. And this is like a zombie movie, so I kind of want it to be released then. Hey, you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm allergic to your story. Yeah, yeah. You have your, you have... The cookbook on your dresser, as weird as that sounds. I mean, it's not weird. You know, sometimes a cookbook's on my dresser. In fact, it was on my dresser not too long ago. Uh, Salud. Thank you. Thank you all. I have Netflix. I have Netflix and Prime. A oh, Prime. That's yep. Optimus Prime. You have Optimus Prime somewhere? I do have Optimus Prime somewhere. A toy? Yeah. That's pretty I cool. I think I got two of them. The original. That'd be epic. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You have a shirt and a cookbook. Cool. Thank you then. Thank you. Yeah, the unfortunately the cookbooks aren't in print anymore. So if you have one, you're you got one. Cool. You got one of the few. But you can still get the ebook, the same version of the ebook. Link below. Can John say more about the food he made for the movie? Um, if you want to say it, yeah, go ahead. What do I say? I made, I made burgers. So I'm going to start... Well, you did the catering for the movie, but you also made... There's a scene in the movie where the characters are sitting down for dinner, and you made all of that. Right. Bur burgers, right? It was. I think it was a, a, a lentil loaf. Oh. And the potatoes and the uh, green beans and corn and all that. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I was thinking about the other thing. When everybody... Oh, there's another part where John made a bunch of... He was slinging burgers for the cast members and stuff, so... Um, Weren't they eating burgers in, in... Yeah, they were eating burgers. But they, and... were, they were supposed to be real burgers. Okay, so in the movie... Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, so I can I can obviously say that. Okay. So, the whole movie was vegan. So, obviously, we were portraying that these people were eating, like, cow burgers and all that stuff for the movie. But in real life, they were eating, like, uh, Beyond or whatever we had, whatever you got from, uh, you ordered them from Stronghearts Whole Food or something, or, like, the Wholesale or something. Isn't that what you did? Yeah. Yeah. Um... So, John made all those, like, you know, like, breakfast foods and burgers and stuff like that. So, that's what, uh, for, for, the, for the movie. Yeah. And he also did the catering and stuff. So, I remember we had a few companies um, sponsor us as far as uh, sending us, like, free food. Like, we had dandies, so we had a bunch of dandies, um, which you made, like, Rice Krispie treats with those. And then we had um, Edward and Son gave us some stuff and um, a few other companies. So, yeah, Tofurky gave us some stuff and Bitchin' Sauce. and So, yeah, so we had a few different snacks. And John just made some different foods like that. A lot, a lot of days you made, like, wraps and sandwiches. Real easy stuff because I was working at Strong Hearts at the time. So I'd be like, hey, uh, Joel, my light's crazy right now and uh, I got to cater <laughs> I got a cater tomorrow. Can I uh, make a bunch of wraps? <laughs> some of them were good. Some of them were a little messy. I I would not recommend the. Uh, what did I make that was too saucy for uh, the sassy molassy? Yeah, that was good though. That, more like a saucy molassy, you know the what I'm saying? Molassy. Hey, thanks again, Matt. I appreciate these super chats coming in. Heavy metal vegan. Um. Yeah, I love the brands that support us too. Miyoko's, I still got a couple of her cheese wheels. So I don't know if we use, well, Miyoko gave us a bunch of cheese wheels and some butter. So I think we use the butter for a bunch of that stuff. Cheese wheels. The the cheese. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That just made me happy. Mm. I haven't had those in a long time. Maybe we should use some of those next time. All right. I can't eat one right now. No, I'm very full. Yeah, me too. Did you eat before you came here? Um, Joe brought out hot dogs and hamburgers for the volunteers right after the event. Vegan. Vegan ones. And then I also ate 
five cookies <laughs> and oh, okay. a couple of things on the drive home. <laughs> yeah. But it's fine. Yeah, we got like two boxes of the dandies. So we got like the, the mini ones and then we got individual packets of them if people wanted like snacks. And Edward and Son gave us a bunch of different stuff too. They gave us all the coconut water. They gave us the miso soup. They gave us these, um, they're like these, uh, those little cylinder chocolate sticks and hazelnut sticks, those candy things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are good. Is John a real mouse? Or will it be too loud to make a wheelbarrow with bread? I think the deflection of lavender coconut juice would imply the corona of the verisimilitude of the uh, ingenuity of the baker, pretty much myself. Uh, Hibiesta, thank you. Uh, love you too. Thank you for that super chat. Let me give you that little heart there. Thanks. <coughs> this beer is good, bud. You have yet to try the Edward and Sons fish <clears throat> broth cubes. I have not tried those either. Ugh. Um, I just, I don't ever want to make something taste like a fish. No, me neither. I just that it's not. Seafood is an oxymoron for me. If it's a swimming in the ocean, it's not for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I spit it. If it's swimming here. anywhere, it's not for me. Uh, but um, I'm super excited about this movie, if you haven't noticed. Because it's... Um, I just, like, I got the edit done, and I'm like, okay, good. Like, I was worried about some of these things, but I got it done. I... Uh, I, I had a lot of challenges, and I, I fixed them creatively, and I think it looks pretty darn good. And um, right now, we're just, um, I'm just trimming it, getting it down. It was a little bit too long, so I'm trying to get it down. It was like two hours, two minutes so far. Just for a couple days of, of getting some of that stuff out of there, I've already cut down like five minutes, so it's an hour and 57 now. But I, I want to get it even further down and then um, get some sound in there and stuff. Get some, um, maybe uh, remaster the sound if I can, and, and and that kind of thing. Get some music in there, and then we got we got a then we got a we got ourselves a movie, and it definitely promotes veganism and a fun, kind of like the channel, like in a fun but yeah like horror movie way, you know, like it's not. You'll see, you'll see when you'll you see. see. It. You'll see. You're very excited. I'm. I'm. Ex your excite. Your excitement makes me excited. Yes. Yes. Well, I can't wait for you to see the end. Well, let's. Because I put so much into it, especially the end. All right. And um. And and Mike said we can use that song, and that makes it. He did I tell you that? Yes, you did. Yeah. So Mike gave. Yeah. So Mike, is a um. He's a local musician here that I've wanted his song for, the since the day I wrote the Vegan Zombie really, and um. The, the end scene has to have that song. It just has to. If it doesn't have it, then I'm in... I don't know what to do at that point because, you know, it doesn't really make the movie anymore. But, what? Go ahead. No, I'm just... Just, yep. Yeah, I'm super excited. I really am. And... Uh, John, you cold? Are you cold? No, I, I was just playing with my hoodie. I am tired. Okay, so, what well, you know, we've been on for 45 minutes... Usually we're on for an hour and a half, two hours, but we'll cut it short tonight. Um, we just wanted to come on, say hi, and uh, be consistent. How many? Th we've done this for like at least what a month or two now that we've done. Yeah. Every two, week, at, le at least two months. Yeah, because we've had something different every month, and I gotta say, man, you're you're coming over here, like you said, like I'm doing you're it. You're doing it. I'm not the the wishy washy <laughs> piece of garbage that I no. used to be. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh so. Next week we're gonna do beef and pep. We are we're, okay. I think so. I think okay. that sounds delicious and it's kind of healthy. It's healthy. Yeah, it's, it's healthy. got vegetables in it, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna say good night to you guys, and I'm gonna show John the rest of the movie. Yeah, and you're jealous, aren't th you? That is, is is well, no, yeah, I definitely have it. If I don't have the newer version, I have the old. And when I say older version, it's like last week from week's five week. years ago. Last week's version. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll see you next week. All right, thanks for those super chats, and thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Or we'll see you at another time. Wait, is that another one? Did another super chat? Is that...
Heavy Metal just gave us another one. You gotta be me. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. I just gotta come back over here and say thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, but we're gonna go for real this time, so. Yeah. Have a great night. See you guys later. <laughs>